Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh-oh, we got the mower up in the air. I mowed four lawns today. I mowed that huge lawn down the street, and then I had to go another quarter mile down the road, and I did her father's yard. And then I came back and did my yard, and then I did my neighbor's yard over there. I kept hearing this weird freaking noise developing underneath the machine, only when the mower deck was on, and it sounded almost like metal to metal, and so I, I found out this is the bearing that went bad. So, me, luckily as I am, I pulled the bearing out, and you can see it's all effed up. How I did that was, these are sealed. I did slices, and I bent the metal back, and now I just bent it back over. And uh, and I spun it, and it spins straight. But, do you remember all the bearings that I got for my uh, wind turbines? Same exact bearings. Yep, same bearings as... Should be this one here. Same bearing. My God, how lucky can I get? Exactly perfect center, perfect center hole and everything. So, I took my grinder, I had a thin blade in it, and I just did a lot of little slices around here. And then I, uh, I bent them back, got my little chisel in there. This piece was out. I had to put this in. This is the last thing that went in. I had to pound this spacer out of the old one. But that went in after I put this new bearing in, and I, I pried these little pieces back, and I dropped the new bearing in, and I just hammered them all back over again. And I already did the test spin, which I'll show you. If I had, get ready, you're going in circles, Wee you're doing the vice circle here, hang on. All right, you dizzy now? So... She spins perfect. Before, you wouldn't believe the noise it was making. It's just, it sounded like metal on metal. I'm like, holy Christ. I said, what the hell happened here? You know? So, I get a light. This way you can see what I'm doing. So, I, I was using this. I had this sitting here. And that piece sticking out was laying in there. And I just drove this out with a punch that center spacer and then uh yeah then i just opened up my jaws that's why my jaws on my thing was so big i just put it here and just popped the bearing out measured everything make sure i had the right one and it all the measurements are exact can't believe it and now i'm about ready to spend 50 dollars for one of these <laughs> got it way cheap so i forgot to grab a light I don't need a light, but I could do this blindfolded. So first first bearing that went. It's my first bearing. So now that sits right in there. This is the final return that goes back to the engine. And uh yeah, you can see there's a spacer in there too, so I gotta be careful what I'm doing here. I remember what the hell way this thing goes now. I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy fighting with it. But I think this is the top. I want to see this is the top. If the hole's big enough. Get in there, you dirty dog. Does that fit in the hole? Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I have a spacer? Yeah, I had a spacer. I have a spacer on the bolt. All right. Yeah. So I got a spacer right here. But now I'm not sure which freaking way this goes now because there's a big spacer on the bottom. Oh, my God. Did this go in here? I'm all effed up now. 
Well, what do the other ones look like? Well, it's got a big spacer on that one. I don't know where the hell those damn grease came from. Oh, it's got a grease fitting on it. I was wondering that. I forgot I greased that. Uh, shiitake. I don't... Yeah, I don't think it went this way. Although, it may have went this way. Alright, this is going to take some figuring out, so... Hang on. And we're back. See these new blades? Look how sharp they still are. Not a nick in them or nothing. Those are those new high performance. Uh, they're tempered steel on the ends of them. Okay, so. There it is. You can see the crinkly part I did is on the top. So that big spacer that I had to pound back into the bearing goes on top. And now I gotta put all the belts back on. And this light is a pain in my ass. So this is uh this is pretty easy. See what happens when, when you put a belt on these, people take these pulleys off. You don't take them off. You take your belt loop and push it right between these. And then they go back. Then they go back around the rear pulley. So I made that mistake once of, you know, it's like, wait a minute. I took this belt off in two seconds. Why is it so hard to get on now? You know, because where you, the way you start out is to put the belt on is these two adjusters right here. It's spring-loaded over there. I got to tighten this down yet. I didn't tighten it yet, but that sits on a big spacer down on the bottom. You can see that, and there's a nut that holds it. And the bottom has a raised pedestal. So you don't need the spacer on the bottom, but there is a spacer that goes in the top and then there's a spacer that goes under this nut. So that's how that goes. So the belt comes up and it takes, it takes a left that way and goes around that pulley. This one takes a right, goes around this pulley and then it goes around this one, around this pulley here. And then it comes back up around the front to the very front pulley and then that's it it goes back to the other pulley and around and back so everything's sitting crooked right now because I don't have the bolt tightened but yeah this uh this bearing that went bad is actually like the pivot point on the belt tensioner because the belt tensioner handles right here and then there's a belt tensioner spring right below it right in there so I thought it was this one going bad until, let I me mean, unhook the belt so I could spin this. So this one, you can't hear nothing. This one was the same way. I couldn't hear nothing. When I spun this one, it was like, <laughs> definitely bad bearing. So I had my neighbor, I said, listen to this. I said, you, you don't hear that? He's like, no. Well, I hear it because I drive this thing hours at a time, so... But that's cool. I mean, it saves, saves some money. And and uh, what's really cool is all three of these are the exact same one. So all three pulleys, this, this, and this, are the exact same one and part number. And they're anywhere between like $44, $46. Um, yeah, right around in there. So I don't have to worry about that now. Because I have my own bearing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish tightening up this, so it's not so so wobbly. That'll tighten down, and that's the pivot point. And then I'll put the belt on, and that's it, done. Bearing replaced for nothing. Just a little bit of cutting and grinding, and uh, yeah, and this is all the noise maker right here. I mean, you can kind of even hear it. I know, you, the bearings are shot in there. Let's uh, let's try something. Let me let me see if I can clamp this in the vise, and I'm gonna pull that rubber seal out. See what it looks like in there. It's probably gonna look like a rusty in there. If I can get it out, these would come out pretty easy. Come on, baby. 
Yeah, there's uh that might have been Well it doesn't even want to turn right. Yeah, there's rust all over. There's rust in there. You can see it. Let me turn the light on. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not. But you see the rust in there? And the bearings? So that's where all the noise was coming from. Water got in there and it's all rusted. And that's that's what that grumbling noise kind of transferred to the rest of the machine. So, now I know for a fact I got the right one because you can see that bitch is all rusted. That's cool. That's cool because I'm all set now. Try one of my new rags. Got my rags all stacked in the cupboard. There's my fuzzy wuzzy. Hi, fuzzy wuzzy. Yep, no more fuzzy wuzzy. I had enough of that for a while. All right, everybody. So that is how you fix something on the cheap. So even if somebody sends you the wrong bearings, I mean, for my wind turbine motor, which is sitting right there in the corner, um, they work on something else. So I'm happy because now I got, you know, I got a shitload of different size bearings and everything in here now. So I'm good. So next time the other ones go bad, I'm all set. Man, I love when things come together. So I'm going to tighten all that down and take it out in the yard and see if that noise is gone. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Take care. Okay, I'm back. I, uh, if anybody has a simplicity, I was thinking to myself, Jesus, you didn't even tell them what bearing it was. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Let me turn it. If you can read that I don't even know six two oh three oh six two zero three zero is a bearing number and this bearing happens to be a uh, EWB but the measurements you're gonna need is gonna be this See, that's right, yeah. 0.66 is the inner hole, and the outer size is 1.57 for the outer measurement. I just went outside and I tried it, and uh, it works absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, so this is the bearing if you need it. Um, you can see I've got... How many do I got of these? I was wondering. See, these are the big bearings for the bigger... My new turbine. This is uh, another one right here in the clamp. So I got three more. So... Yeah, so all you got to do is just... Slice it and split it. I'll throw up a picture at the end. Um, so you can see what the original one looks like. And the part number. So... I mean, if your bearing goes bad, go down to the store. Or, well, we have a bearing place up here. We could just go buy a bearing for like five bucks. Instead of paying anywhere from, I've seen them from 26 to $45. I think the 26 one was a scam store. You got to watch out for that. So usually what I do is I'll call the store first. You know, down in Florida or wherever. I'll call them to make sure they're a, a true store because I got $62 stolen from me. So I was buying um, something for my Milwaukee collection, and I never got it, so I got scammed. So that's why anytime I get a chance, I return a favor to the Chinese. All right, that is it. These are what they're biting noodles' is ear. Why do you keep biting on noodles? Noodles just sits there and takes it. Just sits there and takes it. I think that's all I had to say. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. Don't drink my... Don't drink it. Junior, get out of there. You don't want that.
Get your nose away from that. You know what I do with mini, mini that one right there? I'll dip my finger in the can. Watch this. Get out of your noodles. Mini, come here. Mini. Here. Want some? She likes it. Do you like this one? You like the cherry? Crazy dog. All right. Well, there's my foam I put on the crack. I foamed it and I just trimmed it all off. Just, just to stop the water. Look at the mess you make every time I come home. Boy, it's a nice day today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so this is great. All right, everybody. Have a good one. And, uh, you know something? Hang on a minute. I just wanted to show you something because somebody asked me about the Chinese flag. I'll, I'll show you where I put it. It's right there. So, it's right here in plain view of everybody driving by. <laughs> oh my God, look at that monster. I got to get something done. I don't know. You know, if you look up top, though, they're just like little four-inch branches. If I can get up there and just take some of them down, that'd be great. Get some of the weight off the top. But, oh well. Here's a stick I nailed earlier. All right, everybody. Now, I'll catch you later. Thank you.